This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Yo, what's up with you guys? It's Jan Hunter Jr. here, and today we're gonna learn how to mix gospel drums in Logic Pro. And once again, we're gonna be featuring the Yash Drum Warehouse Volume 2, and I'm gonna show you guys a cool trick on how to get a head start with adding samples to your drums. We're gonna get into that in just a minute. So let's open up this Logic session and let's get started. And so we can just give everything a listen, and this is what we have going on with no plugins. Excellent. So we're going to be working with the kick and snare first. I like to start by using the SSL G channel and I have the link in the description for this so you guys can cop this at your leisure. So I start here and then the first thing I do is I just load up the preset, the kick drum preset. Nice and tight. I love this preset so you can adjust this as you want but for time, let's just say that's it. We love this, so let's move on from here. Now what's dope is in Logic and any DAW, um, you can go ahead and click this and hit option and drag this over and you'll see a plus sign. You can drag the plugin over to the next channel. So for this one on the snare, we're gonna use the snare preset. Here's what it off. Turn it back on. Super, super dope and clean. I love this. So let's listen to the kick and snare together now. And so the next thing we're gonna do is copy and paste the snare setting over to the snare bottom. But on this one, we're gonna turn uh, the fast attack uh, off. And this is gonna give us the release of the bottom snare and the attack of the top snare. So let's listen to both of these together. All right, so we're at a good spot right now. Let us shout out our sponsors of this video. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So if you're looking into taking your business into the next level, or if you wanna just start a side hustle, Skillshare has some phenomenal classes that can take you to the next level. So they have some classes in photography, cooking, YouTubing, and for me, obviously, YouTubing is important because this is my main hustle. So I've been checking out the video editing with Final Cut Pro X from beginner to YouTuber with Ali Abdal doctor and youtuber and i can tell you guys honestly i've already got so much value from taking this class already it's really sharpened my final cut pro skills because that's what i use to do my youtube videos now by default you get a seven day free trial so if you join using my custom link in the description you will get a month free of skillshare for the first thousand people so the first thousand of you if you click the link you will get that access uh, to your free month membership and i promise you this will definitely change your life major shout out to skillshare for sponsoring this segment of this video i like that sound now we're going to blend this in because we're getting ready to add some samples from the yash warehouse volume 2. so, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the snare drum and what we're going to do is we're going to click this new track with duplicate settings icon Perfect. And then we're going to highlight everything on the snare track. And then we are going to click on this, hold, hit option, and then drag everything down. And now we have a duplicate uh, snare. And then we're going to uh, pull up trigger two, and then we're going to do a stereo version of it. Now, I mentioned to you guys earlier about the new presets in volume two, which I think is fire. So shout out to my man, John Mike and John Yash and uh, Kevin Kelly and the whole crew for putting this together. So we're going to go to the trigger presets and then let's pull up the a recipe for smack. And now, boom, we have a combination of the absolute snare, everybody's favorite wallet and absolute snare center. And we can now listen to this snare combination. Let's check this out. So you get like a lower tone um, in combination to the higher snare that we have to add some depth. So that sounds like this with both snares combined. You 
See how that gives you some weight. Let's do everybody's favorite too. You know, it just gives you that depth, which is really insane. All right, so for this one, I decided to use the Yash Absolute Snare with Room. And then let's add this in. Here we go. I like to use samples subtly because I like the tone of my drums. Now, if I need to, I'll fully implement a sample over the main snare. But for this case, since we got some good tones, we're going to just beef up what we already have using samples. All right, cool. So now that we have that, let's work on the kick drum. Let's add some samples to this kick. I like this. Yeah. So we got both of those on top of the real kick. Yeah. Woo. So let's go into the toms. So the first thing I like to do with the toms is bust those. Let's go ahead and let's start with this. So we're gonna bust this out to bus one. And so this is gonna give us aux one. I'm gonna name this toms. And then we're gonna right click on this and hit create track, or you can do control T as a shortcut. So we're gonna bring the toms down here. Excellent. And so now we have all the toms coming out of the toms bus. Cool, which we can see. Okay, so first round of processing on the toms is, you guessed it, the SSLG channel. <laughs> so we're gonna copy and paste that over, option drag like we discussed before. And so we're gonna come over here and we're going to activate the rack tom preset. Now what I do here is do the reverse. I actually um, get rid of some of the expansion on this cause I don't want a lot of the leakage from the snare and all that other stuff. And then I'll mess around with the threshold here. Kind of just, you know, leave it around 5.5 or 5.1 somewhere in there, but this is a good spot to start. So I'll leave it as is. So we have that. And I'm going to apply this over all of the Tom. So Tom two, same process and on Tom three. Now for my drum kit, I used a different mic on Tom four. So I'm gonna actually use the floor Tom preset, do the same thing, get that release up a little bit so it, it happens a little bit faster. And so I actually brightened this one up a couple of DB around that 10 to 11 K paste the same setting over to the uh, fifth Tom. I have two floor Toms and I'm going to turn down the highs on this one just a little bit, not as much as the other. So now let's listen to the Toms. Nice. So that's the beauty of the SSL. So this is my go-to for my drums. Once again, let's do it before and after. So here's before. All right, and here is after. So we're going to pull up a new plugin now. We're going to go back to waves and then we're going to do the CLA drums. I love this. I have the link in the description for this as well. And I use the Tom setting. And the first thing I love to do is just bump the highs on it. Uh, maybe turn the gate down just a little bit and a little bit of compression. And now let's listen to the Toms. And that get that just takes the toms to the next level. Oh man, I love the way them toms sound. I love that CLA. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move on to the hi hat. So my uh, go to situation for the hi hat, we're gonna pull up another plugin from Slate Digital. Shout out to Slate. And so we're gonna do the virtual mix rack. So I'll stick with these plugins. I might get rid of the SSL. I don't really need that one. 
And so we're going to use the FG401 compressor. And this is going to give us some compression. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is roll off probably about to 100 hertz or so. So I, I like to keep a little bit of the body of the hi-hat. And then the next thing I'm going to do is compress it. Just bring up that energy. All right, so the next thing we have on the agenda is the overheads. So we're going to apply the same concept for the overheads. We're going to bust all of these overheads out. All right, so let's go over here, bus, and then this is going to be bus two, and then we're going to name aux two overheads. And then same thing, now we can do control T, and now we can move this over here. Perfect, overheads. So now we got everything in the overheads bus. So we're gonna come over here and use the virtual mix rack and we're gonna use the same concept. And I roll off to about like 125, somewhere around there. Yeah, starting to really come together. Okay, so we're gonna take all of these, so the kick snare, snare bottom, all that stuff, everything that's coming out of stereo out, we are now gonna bust this to uh, a, a master drum bus, okay? So we're gonna do bus three. Also, all of this is gonna be bust there. So we're gonna name this drums master, cool. And then same thing, we're going to control T, and now we have this as an actual aux. Now that we have that, now it's time to add some verb. So on the snare triggers, we're going to bust this out to bus four. All right. And then this is gonna be drum verb. Cool. And so what I like to use is another slate gym. So we have the Slate Digital stuff, and I actually love to use the Verb Suite Classics. It's a really good reverb, hands down. So now that we have this on the drum verb, uh, since we have an up-tempo track, I'm gonna leave this plate as is, maybe shorten the decay a little bit, and turn the highs up. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the overheads. I'm gonna send some of the little bit of the overheads to the verb and then a little bit of the hi-hats to that verb. Well, I usually use three different kinds of variations of, of the Yash Drum Warehouse just to give it different texture. So we have like some low texture, mid texture, maybe some sizzle. So I'm gonna look for a snare that has some sizzle. Now that we have our stuff gain staged and all that, now let's get into the uh, master drum bus processing. So that's a good sweet spot, six milliseconds. That's that's pretty good. So it's just waking up the drums, giving us a little crispiness. Then I'm going to uh, turn up the low end a little bit around 100, not much, but maybe about like a dB or so. So you see how subtle that is. That's very subtle. I'm not doing nothing nuts. And that gives us, that helps us arrive at a really good lively drum sound. So here's without the samples. And 
here's with the samples. So I have a promo code once again, Y100 Music 10. It's listed in the description for you to get your copy. I also have my own mixing drum templates for Logic Pro. You can get my Drum Channel Strips Volume 1 and Volume 2 to help you build an awesome drum mix without having the SSL stuff and just all native plugins. You can get a massive sound using my Drum Channel Strips. Link in the description for that. All right, guys, so if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up, subscribe to that YouTube channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else that's coming from here, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Hey, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for tuning in. I have some free stuff for you guys in the description. I have some free packs for you, and, of course, the custom link in the description for the Skillshare access for your one month free. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys on the next one.